Hervé Jiminy. Hervé, uh, who have you been annoying today by claiming to be a journalist when in fact you're just someone with a microphone, a camera and uh, no self-awareness? If you followed my work for a while, you'd know that I love to have a laugh and often at my own expense. So I was naturally excited to hear that our taxpayer-funded broadcaster had run a short skit making fun of me in last night's episode of Mad as Hell. This particular ABC show claims to present satirical takes and sketches on global news and current affairs. So take that, all you ABC viewers who keep calling me irrelevant. I was actually looking forward to laughing at myself and walked away offended by how unfunny it was. It was a great promo for Rebel News, just nothing that'll make a normal person laugh. It's just over a minute. Have a watch. But right now, a very special report from our new media partner, alt-right Canadian news vlog, Rebel News reporter, Hervé Jiminy. Hervé, uh, who have you been annoying today by claiming to be a journalist when in fact you're just someone with a microphone, a camera and uh, no self-awareness? Sean, today I've been annoying a woman trying to eat a sandwich outside of a shop, some policemen trying to move on a crowd at a rally, and a bunch of guys shouting at me out of a passing car after I threw an egg at them. Well, it sounds like it will provide us with the uh, balanced critics of the ABC been baying for. Let's have a look at the tape. Oh, mate, did you want me to record it? Yes. <laughs> oh, my bad. Yeah, what, what would have been the point otherwise? Well, no, nah, we're at cross purposes. My bodyguards told me the kind of thing you're after, right? But right. they didn't make clear that you wanted it on tape. Dimmy, you fucking idiot, mate. What would have been the point? Why, why would you think I wanted you to go around making a nuisance of yourself for no reason? Well, I thought it was a power thing and you kind of got off on it or some shit. <laughs> Hervé Jiminy there from Rebel you News. You don't mind about traffic control, Dimmy. You fucking made me look like a stooge, mate. <laughs> Regular correspondent on uh, all right issues this series, unless we get a complaint about uh, uh, Tosh's frankly racist portrayal of him. <laughs> then, of course, we'll just drop the character completely. Seriously? That's the best you could come up with? I'm like an open source of comedy gold. My kids could make fun of me better than that. But let's unpack it from the beginning. All right, Canadian news vlog, Rebel News. <sighs> ABC calling Rebel News alt right essentially means were right of the Greens party. Reporter, Hervé Jiminy. Hervé, uh, who have you been annoying today by claiming to be a journalist when in fact you're just someone with a microphone, a camera and uh, no self-awareness? I love how ABC constantly claims that I'm not a real journalist to deflect from the fact that I'm better at their job than they are. Well, it sounds like it will provide us with the uh, balanced critics of the ABC been baying for. Let's have a look at the tape. Um. Mate, did you want me to record it? Yes. <laughs> oh, my bad. Yeah, what, what would have been the point otherwise? This is the most bizarre punchline to their skit. I just don't get it. Fine. You say I'm not a journalist because I'm not in your little elite club. But me not recording something? That's probably the one thing we excel in, getting everything on camera, usually in multiple angles. Honestly, I have so many quirks that you could rip apart and it would be funny. You should have called my kids. They could have helped you. Heck, even just yesterday, I made a giant douche of myself when recording our first ever long-form interview with Rukshan and the Aussie Cossack, and I couldn't shut up. Yeah, that's that self-awareness you say I lack. The difference between you and I is I'll learn from my mistakes. I'll never repeat yesterday's cringy behaviour. On the other hand, you... You still won't be funny next week. You fucking made me look like a stooge, mate. That was just a weird addition. Probably the writer's unconscious or possibly even conscious wish. But for fun, let's just pretend any other channel ran a skit with a white dude playing a person of colour and running him over to finish the skit. I reckon the usual outrage mob at ABC would have a bit to say. Not that I care, just that it's not comical. <laughs> A regular correspondent on uh, All Right Issues this series, unless we get a complaint about uh, uh, Tosh's frankly racist portrayal of him. Honestly, the racist portrayal of me is probably the closest thing to truth they got in that segment. A white dude playing an Aussie of Yemen Israeli heritage while appropriating a, I don't know, Sydney Lebo accent. I guess we all look the same. But I'm amazed that with all the diversity hires at ABC, they still managed to find a Caucasian to play my role. I guess they think white people can do everything better, even 
play a brown Jew. If you enjoyed my reaction video, make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, share it far and wide to embarrass the morally superior racists at ABC. And if you're willing and able, please consider chucking in a few bucks at rebelnews.com.au because unlike the ABC, we ask for your support to do what we do. They just take it without your permission from your taxes. Rebelnews.com.au, give what you can and what you think we deserve. Rebelnews.com.au, donate and check out our latest reports there. Maybe just avoid watching my last cringy video.